Okay, you guys, all you're gonna need for this project is your scissors, a marker, or a couple of markers, okay? And then your clip file, where you got your letters, letters, patterns, all kind of cool stuff. I don't know why my video maybe is running funny right now. Colors, patterns, body parts. What I want you to do right now is pick up a couple of different things that have patterns on them. I've got this crazy pattern dress, this stripedy one right here. Ooh, this is some fancy thing. And then I've got these weird little patterns. And what else? I think I'm gonna use this one too. I am going to cut giant letter U's out of here. I can use this one just like this. And No, you know what? I'm No, yes, no, yes, no. I'm just gonna cut the end of this kind of curvy, okay? Because I had already cut it into a rectangle. So now it looks like an upside down letter U. And I'm just gonna put that on my paper right there. I'm not gonna worry about gluing it down or anything. Same thing over here. I'm gonna come and cut these in half and then I'm gonna curve off the top. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these and put them down. Let me see if I can hurry. Let's see, I don't need that. All right, so I'm gonna come up here, cutting, 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 whoop. I was looking at the video instead of looking at my fingers, woo. All right, so now I've got a couple of different ones of those. I think I will use this crazy looking one right here. I'm gonna cut in. You can cut a big rectangle first, because that'll be helpful. And then just go back and round the edges off, okay? And then you'll have these tall, skinny, upside down letter use. Now this one I think I'm not crazy about because I can still see the arms of this dress. So I'm going to come right in there and make those arms go away so it is just the pattern, okay? So I'm going to put those guys down like that. They're kind of weird looking, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take these guys. I'm not going to glue them down yet because I might want to mess around and do something different. These are going to be crazy collage chickens. I'm going to pick out a nice piece of red out of my color folder and then I'm going to just crazy cut a hat out of there, okay? This one might be too big, I don't know. So I'm gonna cut that down. Oh no, that'll be perfect. So I'm gonna cut this crazy hat that's three triangles, okay? Boom, three triangles. And I'm gonna put it up here on this guy's head, all right? Now I'm going to use maybe, ooh, this hot pink, do the same thing and cut a little chicken hat out of there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, art is wonky. You don't have to draw this first. Just do it, like they say. Um, I think maybe I'll put that one right there. How's that look? Pretty good? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this chicken. I don't like him. I'm just going to stick with three chickens. This chicken, this chicken, and this chicken. I'm going to give this chicken this color little hat right here. I can put the curve on top of there. Okay. All right. So now we need one more hat. Maybe I'll give this chicken a fancy green hat out of my green folder. Remember, all of these pieces of paper I just cut out of one magazine. So now I'm going to put her that right there, my fingers are getting, oh, I don't like that, I wanna cut that a little more triangly. Okay, see that? Okay, boom, we'll put that in there. All right, so now, what do you guys think? We need some beaks, let's give them some beaks. And beaks are just pointy little triangles. So I'm gonna go one, ooh yeah, two, look at that, I made that one really long and pointy, and I'll use this one right here. Hope I got those all underneath. So now I'm going to put this one right here, okay. Then I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna put this one right in the middle, all right. And this one's gonna be crowing over to the side. All right, now chickens also, as you well know, have um, eyeballs. We can either draw our eyeballs on or we can go back into our little eyeball folder and find a nice eyeball. And I think I'm gonna use that one right there. I'm gonna cut it out kind of wonky. All right, so I got one eyeball. Let's see, let me put that on this chicken. 
I, oh, that's upside down. I think it goes like this. You guys think it goes like that? All right, so I happen to have two out of that same picture, so we'll just use those. How's that? I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. So find your eyeballs and put them on your chicken. Oh, he's looking kind of funny. Um, let's see, I need another, that one's the big, big, big eyeball I wanna save for another crazy project. All right, uh, I have not cut as many as you guys have probably. Ooh, yeah, no, that's safe. Sue, that's too big. All right, so find your eyeballs, find your beaks. Now, if you wanna go really crazy, you could find some little legs in the magazine and put those right down here. No, we say, no, not the legs, Farmer Sue. I'm saying, yes, I'm gonna do the legs. All right, so I've got little legs right here. I'm gonna move this bird over and up, okay? So this bird I'm gonna show you could have legs. This bird is just gonna be a face. Okay, he's crowing out to the side. Get over there, little beak. And in a minute, after we like all our parts, we'll glue them down, okay? Boom. And if you need some help with glue, ask mom or dad. You can use a glue stick, which I think is the easiest thing in the world to do. Now that one, I might draw my own eyeball on this one because since this is dark. So I think I'll probably just take my white paper and cut out a big circle. I'm gonna put that down right there. And then their eyes are kind of cool. I might cut out a smaller circle, okay? And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna stick that right there. And then maybe even, if you have a hole punch, and I didn't bring my hole punch with me, you could use a hole punch also. So here's some more red. I'm just gonna go around there and make a tiny little piece. Put that eyeball right in there. Okay, I think that's gonna be all right. Hey, and you know what? Chickens, remember, have wiggly waddles underneath, so I'll just use this strip of red that I had out of my pile and make some waddles to stick underneath there. Looking cool. Let's see, this one needs a little one right there, so I'll just go down and make like a little U. Her, that waddle will stick out right there. I'm gonna slide that underneath there. Okay, I got my eyeballs for my crazy chicken. I got my beak. Get back up there, crazy chicken. All right, and now this one needs, I think, a nice big eye. That still is too big right there. Um, let me go back and look for another eyeball, you guys. No, I see the perfect eyeball right here that I did not cut out before. Ooh, there's thunder out there. I just let the horses out, so I know that thunder is not my horses knocking down the barn. Okay, so here we go. Last eyeball. So I'm gonna put this little eye over here on this chicken. All righty, and then I'm gonna slide her hat back over here. And then once I get these pieces where I kind of like the way they are making birds, I can say, yeah, I like that. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So I can finish up this project this way and glue it down, or I can say, hey, I'm not sure I like these chickens as much, and I could push them over to the side and say, I really like that chicken right there with the pattern in it, and then come back and cut out a big green oval got that big green oval it could even be if it's not an oval it can still be like half of a circle let's put her down right there yeah i think i'm gonna like this project better than the than just the necks of the ones let's see about sliding that right there so now wow look at that i got a body of a chicken the neck of a chicken crazy beak her eyeball I might change out her hat. I can change that out, but you know what? Her hat kind of goes with her body. Oh no, now I am crazy. I may take these little legs right here. Let's see what happens if I cut those out. And this is called collage, when you mix all kind of different things together. So there's one little chicken leg. There's another little chicken leg. So, I kind of like that, but I kind of don't. So I'm gonna take those chicken legs away and I think I'm probably gonna use regular old chicken legs. Now, so there, I need a tail. Maybe I will use this for the tail, all right? And what I'm gonna do is just cut these into curvy 
swervy shapes. I'm not gonna worry about anything getting too fancy. See, I'm just taking it and cutting it into little curves. Okay, and you know what? I have just enough left here that maybe I use that for a wing. So I'll just cut that into a little shape that maybe looks like a wing. Put that in there. Is that too big, you guys? I think that's too big. Let's make it a little smaller. All right, so I like that part right there, but let's come over here. Oh, can you guys hear the rain outside the barn? All right, so I've got her body, her wing, cool looking neck, a beak, a hat, an eyeball. I'm gonna put some tail feathers up here. I have to decide which way the tail feathers look best. Now, I'm thinking I might want some more color in that tail. So let me see. I've already used that green. You know what might look neat are the leaves from like this building. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of those squiggly lines right there, one. So this is what's kind of fun and it makes you really use your imagination. Take that one magazine and cut it into colors, cut it into to patterns, cut it into faces, all kind of different things, and then we're gonna use those to make a lot of all the different animals on the farm. How about that? And then we can do some serious and some silly. All right, so that's, that's nice looking tail feathers, and add some more on there if you want. Now, I did not like those people legs on there, so I think I'm gonna make real, I'm just gonna make chicken legs out of, look at this gold and black pattern that I found. So I'm just gonna cut two really tall stripes out of here, one, two. And I'll save this in case I wanna do their toes. All right, so now I'm gonna stick her legs. But you know what, guess what? I'm glad I didn't glue this all down, you know why? Because I think I wanna turn this chicken around and make her really tall. So I'm gonna bring her legs to the bottom and I'm going to reassemble her. I'm gonna turn her body, I'm gonna put her tail back up there I say, hurry, Farmer Sue, hurry, because I want to get started on my own project. Okay. Boom. Oh, we have, she had one more tail feather, didn't she, right up here. And sometimes after you get a piece together, you might want to change it up just a little bit and rework it. So I still really like this piece for the head. I might stick it right there instead. Oh, or you know what? Let's take that and cut zig zags on it. I hope you can see my hands in my videos not going crazy. All right, so I cut that with a little zigzag because chickens have like a little feathery collar around their neck. All right, so we had that nice beak. Let's maybe make her beak a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to put her beak back over here. All right, how about that eyeball? Did we like that eyeball enough? If we decide that the eyeball is too small, guess what we can do? We can go shopping for a new eyeball. Okay, so I've got her eyeball down there. And does this crown look fancy enough? Oh yeah, that actually does look pretty good. And we could decorate that crown with more stuff if we wanted to. All right, so now I have my basic chicken, except for say, everybody say, Sue, where's the wiggly waddle? All right, let me get another good color for a wiggly waddle. That, I'm gonna use the same piece of coloring there. And I'm just gonna cut a big oval. Okay, and stick that little wiggly waddle right over there. And I think I really kind of like this chicken now and I can start to glue. Uh, I think I might like to give her, you know, it'd be fun is to cut out some fancy shoes out of a shoe catalog and put it on there. But for right now, I'll just cut out some toes. I'm just gonna do little skinny pieces for toes and glue them on. How about that? I need one more piece, I think. Yeah, because chickens have three toes. Three toes, two eyes, one nose, a crown, and a wiggly waddle. All right, so guys, get busy and make a chicken. Now, for some reason, you don't want to make a chicken, you can make a horse, but we're going to do all the different animals in the barnyard, and I'll show you different samples. How's that? All right, 
Now, if you wanna go even more crazy, you could go find your letters from your letter file and spell out good morning or cock a doodle do, and then use those letters to spell your name and then put your artist signature underneath. So check back with me in a little bit and we'll see what we both have going on and you can send me a copy of your awesome art. See you in a minute.